My own work's really a, uh, a form of catharsis. Um, uh, they're basically a reflection on me and my life and the things I see and the things I do and uh, the things I'm listening to, the things that influence me. Um, and a lot of them are largely uh, culturally based. Uh, a lot of my imagery comes from my connection to the land and the, the mana moana and the mana whenua. And that's through my mother's family. Uh, my father's English. And uh, while he was a very inspir inspirational character, his spirit lives within. Um, the imagery I'm using at the moment is a reference to my great grandmother's people of Naitā Manuhiri from uh, out at Muriwai, the young next head. And um, the connections that were made there and those connections that we have to the whenua. And I'm really interested in exploring those ideas and creating artworks that talk about that. Um, as much for myself as for my two sons and my family. Uh, my mother's still alive and she uh, was born and bred out there. Um, and I've been involved as a trustee on the local Tairawhiti Museum. And if anything art comes up, um, I'm happy to be involved uh, on behalf of Iwi. And we've currently got a, an exhibition we're planning for in the year 2013, which is a, um, a ma Naitā Manuhuri Taonga exhibition at the Tairawhiti Museum. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So, um, I trained as a painter and a printmaker at art school. <clears throat> My painting tutors were Don, um, Bill Sutton, Don Peebles, and my printmaker tutor was a guy called Barry Cleveland. Um, I was really lucky to have um, uh, Bill Sutton, Don Peebles, Doris Lusk um, as my tutors there because they had, they had quite a big influence on me, which and the influence actually wasn't immediate. It wasn't until I left art school that uh, what they were saying and the things that they exposed me to sort of started to make sense. So I learned to carve, uh, self-taught, um, when I left art school uh, and more since I've been living in the in Gisborne uh, while working with carvers, but also uh, studying carving and looking at Māori visual arts. Um, exploring the designs and the names for the designs and uh, looking really back at the, 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 the sort of the mnemonic patterns that appear in <coughs> in Nai Manuhuri, which is my, my tribal area. And there's a carver there who's probably one of the best carvers in the world. And his name was Rahudu Rikupo. Well, he was born in Buriwai. <coughs> he lived in uh, Manutuki. And he's the carver of the uh, Te Haki Churanga, which is the meeting house that's going to be part of the Rungo Whakata settlement. So it'd be good to have that back in the district. It's currently been, it's been living in the uh, the National Museum, which is now Te Papa.